When we did advanced street fighting, which is like mostly a joke, uh, a lot of you guys said that when we got the collar tie and the guy changed levels, right, as he gets down here, maybe we throw the knee, right? Uh, we're going to talk about the knee. It's not a terrible idea, but as you can see, it's not like, you know, the best thing in the world to do. We're going to talk about the knee from there and also maybe like one other option, uh, you know, if you want to, you know, yoke somebody up. In our last video on advanced street fighting, we're talking about from this, you know, collar tie and kind of, you know, punching a little more intelligently. He's gonna try to turn to face me and I need to stay off center so that he can't ever get a, you know, good attack on me. Uh, and we ran into the problem of, well, what if he changes levels? We only got one hand on him, he changes levels. We can defend a little bit with this guy right here. This is okay, right? Uh, but, you know, he's fishing for this leg, he wants, our leg because he's tired of me punching his face so he wants to move to clinch me or move to take me to the ground. That's not a terrible idea that jives with our natural instincts. So some of you guys were talking about the knee. Well, if we're already here, the knee is obviously a bad idea. I don't know whether you would think this one, but I, you definitely wouldn't do this one because then, yeah, even if we're, thank you for being nice, even if, even if it connects, like even if you nail this dude, boom, we're, we're going down. Maybe he's unconscious, maybe he's not. Not a chance I want to take. If they've got a hold of this, we still need to frame this out. We start to cover his head, right? Break his posture, and we need to curl this up and like kickstart the motorcycle. We get this frame, he gets this single leg or something like a single leg, and you don't have to be a wrestler to know to grab somebody's leg to take him down. You know, uh, a big guy that's bigger than me and can't maybe punch and kick as good as me wants to take me down, whether he wrestles or not. Curl this up. And there's no way that his arms and hands are stronger than my leg muscle, as Sergio says. There's no way his puny little, tiny little, <laughs> weak arm can match the sheer power of this guy right here. So he gets in on that leg. I'm going to curl this up. And But if he doesn't have the leg, and you have this, or especially if you have this cross collar tie the knee of course would be a great attack as long as you are balanced and the timing is right but what i like to do when you're pushing on a guy and he wants to push into you if i push him he's going to push back if i pull him he'll pull back away from me that's just what people do so if i push on him and i'm hitting him and he wants to change levels he wants to come forward he wants to come forward he wants to come forward i'm gonna let him all right I'm holding him away, he wants to bring his head to me, I give him a little pause, a little bit of a resistance, and then I snatch his head down and put it in here. Now as far as finishing the standing guillotine, there's a bunch of different ways to do it, there's a bunch of different methods to choke somebody out from here. There's tons of videos on that. I'm going to just cover a little principle to make you a little bit better at moving a guy around from here. We tag the guy, boom, bang, bang, he's going to move to grab, or maybe we're making our own clinch. He pushes. Snatch him in there, all right? Once we get to here, I, I don't, for self-defense purposes, someone's gonna say, well, if you're trying to, you know, finish the guillotine, right, he's gonna be like getting a knife, right? I don't have uh, one. Well, well, let's pretend you did and you went to go get it and you have to get it before <laughs> you, before that, you know, before you pass out from that. But I, I get the sentiment of not wanting to be like married to a person in self-defense. So the guy shoots in, right, boom, we stop him here, we get this. A quick little side trick, just a little tip, if you do want to get your guillotine, I don't like to immediately go to this all the time. Now, this, now if you can get here, this is great, but say if you think he's going to fight this hand and you're not going to get it, if you start just doing this, they might forget this and leave it alone and start working on other things because they don't feel threatened yet. And then you can put that in whenever. But the real star of the show is this hand right here. We can, it can be just behind the elbow or you get some of that tricep meat or you can hook in that armpit. But basically we wanna take all this and just turn him like this. And when we get him like this, it really starts to twist him up and change his posture. Now, if we couple that with an opening the gate type step, you know, as we turn him like this and we open the gate, we can really start to move them around. 
If I want to move them the other way, just change this to an underhook. I get this. This one's going up, head's going down. I get this little twisty effect here, and I take this back foot and I open the gate. And then from here, as he's unbalanced, you can start to snap him down or whatever else. The stuff that you like to do. But the idea is to push a little bit. He wants to come forward. We let him. And then we either underhook to take him this way or trap some of this to take him this way. But we never want to just stay right in front of him and crank on them, especially if they're bigger and stronger, because that happens no matter how good your guillotine is. So the danger is not really this always omnipresent, ubiquitous knife that everyone that you ever fight will have. Maybe I need to worry, but I have that option. If he shoots in, right? Oh, uh, real quick, I didn't cover it. I've been shoving his head as he pushes forward. I've been shoving his head into the opposite side. You can, if he pushes forward, this, I don't know why this works. This seems like it shouldn't work, but I guess they want to put their head there. If they're pushing forward, you can shove them into the same side. Seems like it takes too long, but it works. I said this earlier about people's natural instincts. Our natural form of fighting is wrestling. That's what our instincts tell us to do. So when we get punched a few times, we want to get here. And we want to clear and have our face not in danger of getting punched because we don't like it anymore. And we have that. Now, on the flip side of this, I, we did a video, I'll link it up there, and I'll put it at the end of where we sort of like fake offer the guillotine in order to get a takedown. But if you want more fitness tips, that was slick, wasn't it? Self-defense techniques, gear reviews, as well as concepts and principles that make you hard to hurt, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Oh.